Hello you guys and welcome back to a let's play of Pac-Man World 3. This is Cyborg Bowser here and today we are going to take on the next stage of this game which I believe is the Spectral Cliffs. So let's get this started. Shall we? Whoa! Um, wow. What is this place, Orson? It's weird. If my calculations are correct, and they are, you're in the spectral realm just as planned. Hmm. So this is where all you ghosts come from. Not very homely, is it? Remind me what I'm doing here. I've lost contact with my friends, Pac-Man. I need you to track them down. Pinky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. I'm sure you remember. Yeah, first they chase me, then I chase them, then they chase me. Tracking them down will be just like old times. I'm on it. Okay, so before we get too deep into this, there was a cutscene before. Um, somehow I skipped it. Um, but it's simply the bad guy's name is Erwin. He has two of the ghosts already. And that his plan is almost ready to go, which, obviously, we're not gonna let him do it. Um, supposedly he's, um, getting rid of all the ghosts here. And there is another occurring character, which we'll be seeing at the end of this level, actually. Which is why that cutscene was there, but, in the meantime, rocks shifting. Yay for erosion. Oh, and there's the red crystal. For anyone that's wondering that. Um, yeah, and second, o second of all, um, if my voice is bad for any reason, um, I am recovering from a very bad cold that I had. So, don't mind me if I end up sounding like a frog to anybody. Unless, of course, I want to get kissed by the prince, but that's for another discussion, obviously. So, what's at the end of this pack dot trail? Oh yeah, we get a trophy, or collectible, or whatever you want to call it. Now, get up that hill! Get- There we go. I don't know why I was having troubles there, but let's- Apparently I did. So... You simply have to wall jump that area, or you can just jump up those ledges there. It doesn't matter which way you go, because they lead to the same place. Um, I almost missed out on an apple here. So, let's grab that. And, oh yeah, I was going to mention this too, somewhere along the line. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, what was I gonna say? I got- oh, right, right, okay. I remember now. Um, this is not 100% anymore, because in this level, I actually missed a cherry. So, this is not 100% anymore, and I tried so hard to make it that way, but I guess that's just not the way- Pac-Man does it, I guess. Thank God it's not one of those games. And you'll notice a lot of themes in Pac-Man World 2 that show up here as well. Like, um, oh god, I actually missed out on what these things were. These are time keys. Um, what time keys do are that you're supposed to you're supposed to run through them in, like, I believe it's a certain order. Um, that one was a certain order, but I'm not sure about anything else. So yeah, we have to walk across this ring of death? Are you serious? Okay, now through the door we go, I guess. Checking to see. I hate you, bugs. I hate you so much. So much that you wouldn't even know. I would squash you guys, but 
I don't feel like being the exterminator today. I just want to let you live. Grab the cherry and... Here we go. Get your game face on, Pac-Man. I'm detecting a surge in spectral activity in your area. Yeah, this area is probably one of the more complicated areas. And there are certain items that you can get on your first time. Actually, this is the only time you can get this trophy. So, I suggest grabbing it before eating up all the ghosts. But, that's one of the few things here. Um, you may not, you may have not noticed this while I was playing it, but some of the ghosts are orange, and some of them are green. Um, later on there's a segment where there's a green ghost, but... I'm not gonna worry too much over that right now. I mean, they're all running from me. What a bunch of cowards they are. I mean, they're ghosts for God's sake. Oh God, he was gonna get me. Get away from me, stalker. Grab this pellet for the road. Oh, and every time you eat a power pellet, you get 50 points for it. Not much, but it's enough. I mean, really. What's with the spectral? So yeah, we're eventually figure out, figuring out that Erwin is tampering with the siphons. We don't know what siphons are yet because I don't believe there's one in this level, but eventually we're going to have to um, destroy the siphons. And if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, then just wait until next level. Then you'll get a taste of what's really to come. But yeah, first checkpoint, or save point, save point, checkpoint, they're both points in my opinion. Let's just draw a line and say that we never did. Anyways, bugs, I hate you guys so much. Let me be the exterminating man now. Wall jump here. Oh dang, I didn't mean to fall. Okay. So over here is an apple, which we can easily cheat here. And we have to rev roll up this thing. Um, so how are you, all you doing today? You doing good? That's good. Um, I've just been so busy lately. Like, with homework and just, I don't know, just living life. YOLO, right? <laughs> Yeah, I would go and say something like that, but it's true, right? Grab this trophy that was hiding away from me. Oh, I thought I could climb that. Whatever, I'll wall jump it then. Oh, jeez, what is this? This brings back memories. So yeah. Um, this is. Essentially a maze, and Pac-Man is really good at mazes. If you've never played the original Pac-Man, then boo for you. Cause, I mean, come on, that was a very famous game, like back in the 80s. However, I lived in more of the Ms. Pac-Man era, back when Ms. Pac-Man was a, a thing, I guess you could say. Um, that and the mazes were diverse, for lack of a better word. But yeah, what's with all this random fruit laying around here? And I, for some reason I felt like Superman. Go eat yourself. Anyways, um, that is the last ghost, I believe. This sure is a weird place. Brought up here, Pac-Man. Now, get after those ghosts! I hear you, buddy. Any idea where I should be heading? Well, my last received contact from Pinky came from right at the top of this realm, so head there. Now, I don't know what that crystal exactly did. I may have had to backtrack for something. I don't really know. But, I got that bluish crystal. 
but I did not see a crystal pad anywhere. Or a crystal machine, I should say. Dang, I wanted that cherry. Give me my cherry. Stupid platform. There we go. Now, if you don't already see what's there, that is a be doing pad. And it will explain that for us here. The be doing pad made a return in Pac Man World 3. It was originally from Pac Man World 2. So they decided to bring it back here. So, yeah. We have to go and munch more ghosts again. Oh, joy. So, yeah, grab the strawberry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, um, we're munching ghosts here, like we always do. Oh, I almost went in the lava. I don't know how I did that. I must be invincible or something. I don't know if there was a cherry over that wall there. Um, I never bothered to check it out. It looks like a good place to hide a cherry. This episode seems to be all about cherries. In all senses. But yeah. Um. Oh yeah, Power Pellet respawned. That's awesome. Eat you. Eat you. It is a all you can. It is an all you can eat buffet of ghosts. That was terrible. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. How can I be hungry? I mean, I just had scalp potatoes for God's sake. Um. <laughs> I want to munch your face off, jeez. Can I munch you? Yes, I can. Be doing pads galore. I mean, really. Um. This place seems mighty desolate. There's hardly anything in this place. And, I mean, I know why I was sent here, but did it really have to be here? I guess so, I mean, we are looking for somebody after all. Um. Now, okay, why is there an orange laying there? Can anyone tell me that? Um. Oh, uh, what is this? I'm not looking forward to this, because it's a whole lot of rev rolling, a lot of time keys, and just a lot of stuff that's happening at once, I guess you can say. So yeah, Bugs, I'm not in the mood for you right now. So, um, why did I go in the pit there? Um, that was a weird little thing that happened there. Another weird thing. Um, this game is full of weird things. But yeah, the door opens up. I believe that's... Is that a checkpoint? I could be wrong. I think that is a checkpoint. Um, so... I was really wondering if I should get a Twitter account or not. I've been thinking about it for the past week or so now, and I wonder if it's a good fit for me. If if you if you actually think I should do it, let me know down in the comments underneath this video if you think I should go for it. Um or if not, you can also tell me down there. I'm just curious for myself. Because I've never used anything other than like... YouTube and Facebook and stuff like that. Um... And... Yeah. I think it, I, I I mean, I want to expand my horizons more than what I already am doing. 
and I'm hoping to expand this channel out a little bit. So, if you guys don't mind, of course, there's something there. Oh, right. I have to traverse these platforms that go in and out. Um, this isn't exactly my cup of tea, but it's a level and you have to do it, so why not? Um, I bet I would make one dynamic host, wouldn't I? Um, Gee, I wonder where that was. Actually, I don't know where it is. There's a lot I don't know about Orson, actually. Looks like that's where I need to be. God, how many times am I going to be followed by ghosts? I see dead people. I'm sorry. I had to go there. <laughs> um, but no, seriously. Eat your face off. Um, this episode seems to be about an all-you-can-eat buffet, eating faces off, and I can actually eat ghost face faces here, I guess. Grab this power pellet. Um, the trick to these guys is, at least in this area, I try to lure the ghosts to me, and then I pick up the power pellet and... I just munch them when they're close enough to me. Kinda like what I'm doing right here. That is one of the green ghosts. The green ghosts are actually faster than the orange ghosts. So, it's best to be aware of that ahead of time, I guess. So yeah, we get more of these time keys. Now, I'm kind of partial on these because it's like, um, why are these here? But I know why. Um, so let's just activate them. Okay. Um, so what happened here? Ring! A fire! I'm falling through a burning ring of fire. Indeed I am. So, let's just jump on the thing. Oh yeah, there's an orange hiding here. I don't know what it's doing down there, but I figured I'd check out the rest of the place. Because you never know what's here, right? So, let's just hop up and see what happens, I guess. Um... Okay, there is a melon here. Um, I didn't jump at the highest altitude that there is, but you would have gotten the melon regardless. Oh, this place. And these are these blue pads here. Um, you will be able to see a few of them at a time, but then they disappear over time too. But they will always stay, regardless. So, that's always a nice thing to keep in mind. Thinking of the spectral realm made me nostalgic. I remember paddling in the miasma seas as a little ghost, making fog castles and searching smoke holes for happy mics. Oh, happy times. Happy times for you? What are you talking about? We're in... Oh, wait. No, we're not. I was going to say we're in a recession, but we were past that. So, yeah. How many times are ghosts going to follow me? Jeez. This has to be the fifth one. The fifth ambush. But at least they're nice enough to give me a power pellet. I guess that's reason enough. So, here's a cherry for you. Um... Get one of them while it's still fading, I guess. Um. 
yeah, there's really not much to say here, other than just munching, munching ghosts here. I pretty much assigned a full-time job as an exterminator of ghosts. Or, yeah, that's what they're called. Um, I thought they were called something else at first. But, that's okay. Um, that was the last ghost. Wow. And we unlocked that door there. But, this area has a lot of exploration to it. So, I actually missed something back here. You're probably wondering, wait, how are you, how are you supposed to be able to get up there? But, there is a crevice here. And you're supposed to wall jump on it. Get the strawberry. Jump down. And then follow the trail to your last trophy. Easy enough, but... The first time I played this game, I didn't notice that crevice was there. So... You have to, you have to be aware of those kinds of things. So, what else is here? Oh, I felt like an idiot and I just fell down to the lava pit here. Now, I didn't figure out exactly how to get up from here, but yeah, it felt like I was going to die here, but I guess I didn't. Um, there's a place to revel up here, which you get an extra life. If, you, if you're in need for extra lives, then go for it. Otherwise, don't, but there's plenty of fruit to get here. That one's an apple. I need the health, badly. So I'm gonna take a leap of faith and go there. Um, jump down and go for the orange, which I completely missed. How I did that, I don't know. Um, and then we head down to this pack chain machine here, which already had a crystal in it. I don't know how, but it did. And after all this time, where is this pack chain going to lead me to? Oh yeah, it's going to lead me to a melon. And that was the only reward we got out of that. So, if there's nothing else here, it doesn't look like it. So, let's enter probably the most annoying part of this level, actually. I mean, it's not hard to get to the door, no, but there are so many paths you can take here, it's not even funny. So, I obviously take the longer path. I mean, come on now, who do you take me for? Because I am one for exploring everything when it comes to a level. I like doing that, but... Sometimes it doesn't work that way. I'm happy to say this level does work that way. Um, you may notice that if you do fall off of this area, you do fall off. I mean, it's going to be a slow death. Because, I mean, if you have three hits, it's going to be a slow death. But, it's not worth you falling off of this thing. And there's no way to recover yourself once you do it. I believe there isn't, so... Let's try and be careful here, shall we? Jump for this melon, this easily placed melon. And let's start heading back. Because there is something we need. Now... For people who have seen my other Pac-Man World 3 videos, will know that I like to collect a certain item in each level. Some of them are easier, some of them are not. But regardless, we are about to enter our third galaxy, which is actually kind of a fun one. Yo, those arrow things that are there, those are boosters, and those those are what they're supposed to be. They make you speed up really fast. So yeah. Oh, and you can actually knock out the ghosts and stun them by using those those boosters. 
I didn't actually see those arrows there the first time. But yeah. I did a lot better on this one, actually. So, don't ask why. Let's just not. Ooh, I got him fast. Dang. Um. Grabbed him. Oh, I took all the power pellets at once, though. Probably not a smart idea in a maze like this. But, I mean, the course was almost done anyways. So, that spider is annoying. Oh, yeah, this item right here. It allows you to... It allows you to make a mirror image of yourself. Therefore, covering more ground that way. So, with the galaxy in hand, let's see if we can't try and take a shortcut and cheat the game like that. If you know where the pack dots are, then the platform will be just underneath it. So, no need to worry about collecting all the pack dots unless you are aiming for a high score, which case I wouldn't recommend it. But my reading suggests a nearby ghost to rescue. Either that, or I have spaghetti sauce in my monitor. Great, so you couldn't just port me straight to it, could you? Oh no, it's much more fun to see poor Pac-Man bounced around like a big yellow ball. Sorry, Pac-Man. I'll give the teleporter a bit of a tweak. Now, track down that ghost for me. Now, this is the point where we are almost done with the level. If Orson says something like that, if there is a ghost that's nearby, then you should be just fine and you shouldn't really be missing anything at this point although you might be this area is kind of nasty in a way but yeah this area is very awesome and you'll see a similar pattern in later levels but they don't always use the same pattern or the same stuff. I don't believe. But yeah. This actually leads us to the card in this level. Why it's up here, I don't know. But... Who cares, it was there. And so we actually get an orange here. And we only have one way to go now. So, let's just travel along it, I guess. And here we go. Hmm. End of the road. Scenic anyway. Now, if only I could find a friendly ghost to tell me which way... Eureka! I guess. doing here being chased what are you waiting for pull me up before it gets here it what it me it oh my god you what's your deal you may refer to me as your worst nightmare pac-man quick pull me up i hate this nightmare thing right so you. much you won't push me over the edge or anything if I help pinky up, will you? No. Scout's honor. <laughs> don't I don't believe that. All evil and wants to plug me into a giant energy sucking machine. Oh, that's friendly. Any truth to that, Mr. Nightmare? If I said yes, would you hold it against me? That's a Britney Spears yeah. song. Look down. Idiot. You fell for my trap card. <laughs> well played. My cunning yellow friend. Less chit chat, more pulling me up sometime today. <laughs> Don't worry, Pinky. I haven't lost a ghost yet. Hold on. Ooh. Let the games begin. Heh, <laughs> the game has already started. Are you kidding me? So, this will include not include this will conclude this episode of pac-man world 3 it was very eventful i must add so 
Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.